a two kilogram bag of ibis flour will move from $14.77 to $18.93 from tomorrow. NFM says while it has been able to secure sufficient wheat stocks to guarantee that Trinidad and Tobago has an adequate supply of flour for the remainder of 2022, the cost it has to pay for wheat has increased by a further 49% in 2022 due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. It explains that as a result, in order to reduce losses in its flour division, it has had to increase the wholesale price of flour by 33% with a suggested increase averaging 28% on the retail price of flour to the consumer. The NFM CEO says, while they are acutely aware of the knock-on effect that an increase in the price of flour could have in the market, they must ensure that there is product available on supermarket shelves. It says, they must ensure that they can generate enough positive cash flow and operating surplus to pay for these raw materials. For the supermarket association, the hike was expected. We have been monitoring the prices of grain and wheat as described within the relief, and it has been soaring for some time, so the, the sales have now been confirmed. Dipti tells the CNC3 News that while the timing of the increase is unfortunate, it reflects the global situation. He adds that the supermarket owners are also sharing the burden of adjustment. We are also sharing in that um, because the, that, that mar the margins is not a lot that it's inside of there. The supermarkets have had quite a lot of um, increases in the cost of operation, not least with respect to crime lately. So we, we will also be ensuring from our side that we do our part with customers. Dipti says now more than ever, food security projects are crucial. But even before the price increase was announced, the matter of rising food costs was raised in the Senate on Tuesday by the opposition. Who asked Trade Minister Paula Gopiskun if the government plans to add to the list of zero-rated food items? At the, at the fiscal 2022 national budget presentation, quite a lengthy list of items was on offer for the zero rating of basic food items. It was quite a lengthy list, but I know this government is quite concerned about the population and the effect of increase in prices, and we will always have in mind the needs of the population, and of course these matters will remain before us always. Minister Gopi Skoon also said the government is implementing several strategies to combat rising food prices. Among them, a $300 million agriculture stimulus plan to assist in local food production. Chester Sambrano, CNC3 News.